So you're basically telling people who are already suffering to just hang in there while you and those in power make no sacrifices at all. How can you even justify that? You're saying it's not right, it's not fair, yet you're okay with the status quo as long as you can give a nice speech about the common man. Let's be real, you can't claim to care about good governance and then turn around and ignore the real issues. They talk about rotation and fairness, but when it comes down to it, you're more concerned with keeping things as they are, even if it means ignoring those who are struggling the most. And let's be honest, talking about sitting on a keg of gunpowder isn't just rhetoric, it's the truth. If you keep disregarding the people's interests, it's going to blow up in all our faces and no amount of smooth talk will save you then. You say what matters is us, but who is us? The few in power or the millions who are fed up with the same old empty promises. So let me allow you to watch the full video clip here. Now watch it. It's not right. It's not fair. It's not good for this country. So this is the thing we have to do. How do we ask people to suffer? And those people who are suffering, please bear with us when you are not showing any sacrifice. And I'm not showing any sacrifice. You are what you are. I am what I am because I'm a Nigerian. Those people out there are Nigerians. They are entitled. So let us look at things that way. For me, that is what we have to do. And as I've said, and I will keep saying it, we are all sitting on a keg of gunpowder, all of us. If we continue to do what we are doing, which is disregarding the interest of the common man, disregarding the interest of the common man. Yes, we want to. You bring somebody from another, the, the point you made. We here in Open State, between the center and the east, is where they have been getting governor. We've, not, we've ignored the west. And the truth is that by population, unless the Central and the East yield ground to uh, the West, they will never make it. But for me, what is important is good governance. I will agree that yes, let it go round, and if he doesn't perform, remove him. But there are many states, a few other states like that. Uh, Kogi is one. Benue is one. Uh, Bonu. Bonu is uh, like that too. Yes. Yeah. Where unless there is a yielding of uh, opportunity. I try here with uh, Leto Luni that look, he comes from the world. We didn't make it. I don't know whether putting it in our constitution that look, there will be north-south rotation. What I had hoped was that we will put it by convention rather than by, so that if we see a situation where it is palpably right, but once we did that, and uh, we, some people thought that not the way to go, um, but what matters to me is ourselves. Because even if you do that, if you put it there, when um, um, 
Amaru Yaradu had died. There was move, move, which is unconstitutional move, that Jonathan will not, who was a, a vice president and by our constitution do. There was move in some quarters that Jonathan should not take over. Why? So um, I, I will be with you first that we will we'll re, re, rethink, re-examine Western liberal democracy. That's number one. Two, look, what should be the criteria for, taking, uh, for bringing people into leadership position, whether at the executive level or at the uh, uh, legislative level or even at the judiciary level or any other public because the civil servants are part and parcel of this exercise and they can be good civil servants and really serve civilly and conscientiously. They can also be evil servants if they choose to be so. So we need generally general moral rearmament. General moral rearmament to look at ourselves and say, yes, we are all wrong and where we are wrong then we need to do things differently. We cannot continue to do things the same way that has not worked for us and say. And then if, 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 if we do that, we are deceiving ourselves. But let us look at things, what must we do differently at the executive level, at the legislative level, at the judiciary, uh, judicial level, at the civil service level, even at the private sector level. Because we are all in the same boat. And if that boat sinks, we all sink together. But uh, whatever you come with, if we are able to take care of Yes, democracy, let a democracy have African context and African content. Because Western liberal democracy began from monarchy, they can be uh, loyal opposition, loyal opposition to the monarchy. In our own case, because we have no, the only thing we can be loyal to is our country, which is invincible, as some people will say. So, not a loyal opposition, but a, a partnership opposition that will partner with the government see things together, debate, dialogue, and come to consensus and move on. One of the things that is ridiculous about this country is the new government comes in and they say, for the first time ever, as if Nigeria has never existed. For the first time ever, this has been done. You talk about the refinery your opening remark. I went, when I was president, I went and called Shell. I said, Shell, look, come and help us. Run the refinery. Take part. You can take 10%, you can take 20%. Uh, Come on, 
They said no. I said, okay, all right. If you don't want to take equity, come and run it for me. They said no. So they left. I then called their head one on one. I said, look, sit down with me. Why do you turn down? They gave me five reasons. One, they said, our refineries are small. I think Port Harcourt is 60,000 barrels a day. Uh, no, yeah, and I think that's Port Harcourt. Uh, Kaduna is uh, maybe 100. I think uh, what, is, uh, what is the largest, I think? Maybe 120. And they said to me then that, look, refinery is about 250,000 barrels a day. Is. So our refineries are too small. Two, they said, look, even we will run our refineries as a service, but we make sure that we do not run it at a loss. But we make substantial part of our profit in the upstream. So, refinery, if you run it well, you will break even and make a small profit. But if you don't run it well, you will run it at a loss. Three, they say our refinery, the way we have managed it, the way we have serviced it, is not the way that refinery should be serviced. So they don't want to get involved in that. Four, they said to me the corruption around our refinery. They did not want to get involved. 